the video starts, I just want to let you guys know today we have a sponsor. Today's sponsor is Money Cakes Merch. Yes, I'm sponsoring my own video. Uh, yeah, I have a merch site, guys, and the money I make from my merch goes directly back to you guys and helps pay for the videos like these. So if you guys want to help me out, please check out the merch site. Buy something if you want. If you don't want to buy anything, there's a tipping page if you want to. Otherwise, enjoy the video. What's up, guys? It's Money Cake here. Welcome back to another video. And I know what you guys, uh, we all know what the video is based on the title. Now, no, I didn't do a Funko hunt. I know a lot of you guys wanted me to do that. But these have just, all the Funkos I'm going to be showing today have just been ones I've been collecting through the past time from that Funko hunt in here. And I've only, and I have one, two, I have five Funkos here and I only bought two of them. Well, technically three, but I'll give you the story when I get it. So, uh, let's get started here. Um, first things first, let's start with these two. Now, these are the Venomized Thing and the Venomized Invisible Woman. I know it says girl, but it's the Invisible Woman. And these are from the Funko Mystery Boxes, the one I unboxed in my Funko Hunt. I told myself I wanted to get a couple more, so I originally got this one. I opened this on a stream, and then I got this one shortly after. Now, these are both the Chase variants of the two. So this one, for the Invisible Woman, she's actually translucent and invisible, and that's why she's in the container, because this is now my most expensive pop, going for roughly $35 to $40. So there's that. And then I also have the Chase the thing which this is a metallic version of the thing rather than the regular version now i don't have a knife with me cut to me getting a knife and i got my knife remember if you are, are go if you are a collector like me you gotta make sure you keep those boxes safe so always use something sharp to open the box instead of your hands so let's get the thing out of here and I'll show them off to you guys now with sorry my ring lights over there now with the thing and the invisible woman in the collection the only one we are missing is Mr. Fantastic so if you guys want me to open another one of these boxes and try to test my luck to get him let me know in the comments below but this is the metallic chase version of the invisible or uh, not the invisible the uh, venomized the thing just a nice pop. He's about the same size as my uh, zombie Hulk over there. And you can see the metallic on him. He's pretty shiny. So that is the venomized thing. And I'm not going to take the invisible woman out of the box. Just because I have the protector around her for a reason. To keep her in the most pristine condition as possible. Alright, so those are those ones. So like I said, if you guys want me to go... Uh, Funko Shop Hunting for uh, another box. I think there's still a couple left at my local GameStop. And you guys want me to try to get the Mr. Fantastic, let me know. Okay. Now let's move on to this guy. Now this is my very first ad icon Funko Pop. This is Punchy, the Hawaiian Punch mascot guy. Now, Punchy, this is the one I was saying. So I did, I bought this one from Target. And... Uh, uh, why I bought this one was my grandma gave me money. I picked up food for her. She gave me money. So in reality, my grandma bought this or my grandma, my grandma sponsored this ad icon. So thanks for sponsoring me, grandma. Uh, but yeah, so she's basically paid for this one. Um, and there was, an, uh, this one, a Mr. Peanut and a baby nut Mr. Peanut. And I thought this one was the coolest one. So this is my first ad icon Funko Pops. So I know a while ago in my older Funko videos, you guys wanted me to get some ad icons. So now I officially have my first one. And the thing about this guy is his plastic's like super flimsy. So it's it, it sucks. But here he is. There's Punchy. He has his punch in his hand. And this one comes with a stand so if you guys didn't know some Funkos that can't stand on their own or can 
or they're just like off balance, they sometimes come with these plastic stands and they have a hole on the bottom of their shoe or their foot and you just put this stand on like that and it helps them stand better. So if you guys didn't know that, now you do. Now let's put the stand back and let's get punchy back in there safely, hopefully. Like I said, the, the plastic's really flimsy, so that kind of sucks. And, and the things don't clip, but it's all good though. We'll get him in his box safely and he will go on the wall. that sorry my dog's sleeping right now so and then these two i got for valentine's day from my parents along with some candy i got more of the marvel lucha libre ones i got the el hirodo invecto and the el ferioso i'm in spanish one so if my spanish sucks don't blame me um yeah so i got these for valentine's day from my parents so shout out to my mom and dad Thank you for getting me these. I have the Ella Rackno Spider-Man one from the Funko Hunt in the last video. And these two are also in the, in the thing. This is the Hulk and this is Iron Man. And, uh, yeah, these are really cool pops as well. Um, I do really like this, uh, I do like this set. Also, if you're wondering why I'm sitting and not sitting in my chair, it's because my chair doesn't go as far down as I thought it would. So that sucks. So here's, uh, Iron Man. I wish I had a stand for him. Um, and then here is the Hulk one. And then this is the Hulk one. So these is this is the Iron Man one. Pretty cool. He also he has a the what's it called? Ah. Uh, I'm blanking on the name. Ah, uh, whatever. And this is the Hulk. He has this thing in the chest that represents the the heart thing. So I thought that was kind of cool. So yeah, these are also really cool. This is a really cool set. I do like the wrestlers. I think it's a pretty funny thing that they did with Marvel. So there's that. Let's get these guys boxed back in. But there is still one... Two, three. There's still four more in the set. There is Deadpool, Venom, Wolverine, and Captain Marvel, along with Mr. Fantastic. If you guys want me to look for more of these Lucha Libre Marvel guys, please let me know in the comments below. That can be in the next Funko video, which I'm going to be making it as a pop hunt. So, yeah. Oh, I didn't even put him back in the thing. So yeah, if you guys want me to uh, continue buying these ones from this set, let me know. Along with, if you guys want me to try to get the last uh, Venomized uh, Fantastic Four member, Mr. Fantastic. If you want me to test my look, let me also let me know as well. The only thing I, that I don't like about those mystery boxes, I don't really want to get a double. So I'm like scared about that, but it's all good. And then this is it, guys. These are. These are my pops for my review. So, like I said, let me know what other pops you guys want me to be looking at for future Funko videos or pop hunts. This is the end of this one. Make sure you stay, uh, stay tuned for my next video, Sea of Thieves. It is coming out. I will see you guys in my next one. Peace out. Have a great day. Bam, man.